Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I've come on a bit early tonight because there's a couple of things that I need to put to bed and I need the time to do so. So I thought I'd come on and just have a little bit of a conversation with you all. What's good? What is happening? What's going on? <laughs> Greek power, yeah. Gas, gas. <laughs> Oh, my days. There's a lot of people biting my head off today. People are losing their minds. Now, I just need to end this. I need to nip it in the bud and put things into perspective. That's why I'm coming on so soon as well. Yeah, it was a bit of a mad thing today. That was a crazy masterclass. That was crazy. It was. I enjoyed that. How we doing all? Yeah, I'm going to end. I'm going to put it together. I'm going to put it. Don't worry. I'm going to put this all together. Don't worry. Yasu Christos, man. Wicked, wicked. <laughs> it's, it's because, yeah, W's everywhere. This is it. This is what I need. I need to have this conversation with you this evening, ladies and gentlemen, to help put things into perspective. Okay. I'm not going to wait for loads of people to pass through. I'm going to roll out, have the conversation, and then let you guys be the judge of that. Okay? So, let's have a conversation, ladies and gentlemen. Let's roll with it. Okay, then, cool. So, firstly, overall, the sentiment across the board is very positive. Okay? Now, a lot of people are like, yo, Tino, you're too bearish, you're too this, you're too that. I will go where the price, where, where the intention of the market maker is going to go. We understand that they do things in an opposite fashion, okay? Let's go back and understand Bitcoin when they started to drop it, okay? So, firstly, look at this zone right here. OK, everyone was very optimistic. Everybody was pumped. That's the nature of this game. Moonboy engaged. Happy days to the upside. We were always of the understanding that until they can break above the 800 EMA and show conviction to continue, then our bias would be favored towards the upside. OK, but we didn't get no confirmation. What did they do? Stop hunt rise and dropped it to the downside. Lots of longs being trapped in this area. Lots of liquidation points being able to be taken by the market maker. And before you know it, they attack the range to the downside. Happy days. OK, now, if you look back right now, you can see where we are. This was Bitcoin not so long ago. W formation shifted out of the range. Price came above the 200 and the 50. There was nice, clear confirmation of a move to the upside. We had pools of liquidity over here that they wanted to get. They took advantage of that. We got confirmation that price was moving higher. Happy days. But you've got to remember, the market maker develops his move. Okay? This is how you build shorts. You build them on the in the opposite direction. Because you can only go long when someone goes short. That's the nature of the business model. Retail trader goes long, market maker goes short. Because where is the liquidity going to come from, from his profitable positions? How's he going to make profit? He ain't going to try and make profit off his own positions. No, he needs to take everyone else's liquid liquidity. He needs everyone else's positions so that he can offset his positions and close his trades in profit against the retail trader's positions. OK, why do you think there's so much emphasis on liquidations? Liquidation points are the dead money to the market maker. That's where he makes his money. Now, look at what happened here. 200 EMA, stop, hunt, rise, drop, stop, hunt, rise, drop. This is what the behavior is. Now we've come down to this area right here and Bitcoin looks like it is forming a nice W formation. Happy days. OK, it's now moved away from the zone. Great news. Now, what do we naturally expect from a W formation? We expect a retrace. That's the rule of the pattern. OK, you've got a W right here. Rise up, retrace. And if the, mo the momentum is confirmed, they will continue back up. Why? Because this move to the downside is another opportunity for the market maker to go long again. He's been going long in this area right here. <coughs> Excuse me. 
He's been going long. Let me show it to you. Going long here. Long, long. Some more longs. Shifts out of the zone. Makes a profit on his longs. He goes long again and again and again. And then shifts out of the zone. Okay. Now, what we need to try and get into our minds is this. With what is happening right now. Bitcoin is moving aggressively away from the range. And we said it yesterday, ladies and gentlemen, in the stream. Okay. If Bitcoin can confirm above the 200 EMA and test, then happy days to the upside. If it can't confirm to the upside to the 200 EMA, then it's going to come to the downside. Okay. This is the issue when you're trading ranges. Look at how flat price was. But look what we've got move away from the 200 retrace is what we were waiting for and this is where we are right now ladies and gentlemen okay we are waiting to see if bitcoin does have the tenacity to move higher there is liquidity there for us to take happy days okay the problem that i've got is they're moving up and not really gaining much ground look at how much they move up but then they pull it straight back now for bitcoin to continue higher we said it they need to come away from this zone. The 50 needs to cross over the 200. Then you will have the pattern. Now, I can't tell you when to enter. I can't tell you when to exit. That's on you. The basis of this system, ladies and gentlemen, okay, is to help you understand how it works. I can't tell you when to enter because I don't know what your relationship is like with risk. You know, how much money are you going to commit to going long? How much are you going to commit to going short? I can't say to you, yeah, go long. I don't know what your commitment's going to be like. I don't know what you're like with leverage. Okay? All I can guide you with is if Bitcoin can stick with the momentum to the upside, we will naturally know that they are moving higher because they will come down, test particular zones where they moved from, and then move away from the range. Okay? That's the basis of it all. Now, because of the amount of liquidity that is present in this zone right here, okay, for me to believe that they are going to continue higher, Bitcoin needs to move from this zone and lock it. It needs to come away from it. Naturally, we are likely to see a bit of a retrace. It can even continue higher before it does decide to retrace. But they're not moving the way that I would naturally expect them to. Now, why have I got this bias about Bitcoin to the downside? Well, we look at the one hour time frame every single day. Let me bring it to you on the daily chart. Where are we at with the daily? We're coming up to the 13 EMA. Where, where are we in line with the 50 EMA? Yeah. Yes, we've got this liquidity right here. And you can be sure they will likely return to this zone if they continue from this point. Okay. Look at that 15 hour chart. Coming up above the 800 EMA on the 15 hour chart. Okay. Momentum is pointing downwards. All right. When we look at it on the lower time frames, we see different stories. Price is coming up above the 50 EMA on the four hour time frame. That's good news. Okay. But is it strong enough? Are we seeing the true move happening right now? Because even if Bitcoin does come up to this area here, it's still got the 200 EMA as a resistance point. And the last time it hit the 200, well, look, you've got one, you've got the one zone here, you've got the second zone here, and they rejected that zone aggressively. So when you're trying to establish when to go in, you need to try and get into your minds. How long do you plan on being in the trade for? Because people are making the mistake of believing that, okay, now's the time to go in because everyone's talking about Bitcoin going to 100K. People get caught up in the idea that this is the point that Bitcoin is now going to explode to 100K. You know what? I would love that to be the case, but we know full well that that's not what the story is. Yeah? Yeah. We're going to get a move to the upside, a retrace, a move up, a nice sharp drop down. We're going to get another retrace, continuation, and then a move up. We know that the name of the game itself isn't that simple. Okay. Let's look at the book map. What do we understand about that? Here we go. Look, nice move up to buy Bitcoin. 
There is uh, someone shared an image in the Discord earlier on, okay, which really got my attention. There are four hundred million dollars worth of longs that they can come back and attack. If the business model of the mar of the market maker is going to hold true, then looking at the one hour time frame, we can see bright as day, okay, that they are building positions. Okay, the question is, are they going to come back to these areas sooner or are they going to go to them later? How far will they move away from this range? Now, we'll say it to you guys. If you have been of the understanding that they are expecting to move price down lower, OK, because of the sentiment that I'm coming across in in the streams. OK, we have verified many a times that if we are going to see price go higher, we need confirmation, a break above the 200 EMA. We got it. Now we are seeing the test. Is this going to hold? Because they can move up from this point, ladies and gentlemen. They can move up and then they can just move back down again. If they move back down again, this is the area they will test. You can get all FOMO and you can hype yourself up and get involved in trades in this area. But in the back of your minds, you know full well that they are likely to come down and test at this point. When will they do it? Could they do it here? Could they do it from here? Could they do it from here? If you've entered long in any of this area here, pay yourselves. If it keeps rising up, pay yourselves. Because there's no point in trying to hold on to home runs. The idea is to keep paying yourself. OK, the idea of the mar the market maker is to get people to commit liquidity because he can't move his bit. He can't work his business model. OK, by just keeping price down all the time, he needs to bring it back up. And this is what we're witnessing right now. OK. Are we all on the same page here, guys? Yeah, are we all on the same page here? Yeah, Daniel, I ain't going to tell you when to enter an X. You must be new, Daniel. You must be new. You obviously may not have been here for a while. Okay, but I ain't going to tell you guys when to enter, when to exit. Do you want to understand how the, how the business works or not? Okay, because signals are easy to give. You know, plenty of other YouTube channels that will give signals. I want you to understand how it works so you don't get caught out in the chaos. Okay, Everyone today was shifting out long and this move to the upside. The green vector candle wasn't confirmed. They moved it back down again. Sharp move. Okay. I am all about Bitcoin going up, but I'm not going to be stupid with my with my positions and get set up for a trap. The psychological high has been confirmed. Two days ago, we were saying that's what would need to happen. This area here would need to be confirmed. It got confirmed. Look. What is this pattern that we're always looking at every single day? Drop, retrace, continuation up. 200 EMA. Now we've got the same story. Rise up. Rise up. Retrace. Is this going to be the continuation? Range daily high is the highest point in the session that they can move to. We've got another two hours. Well, three hours until the end of the session. Going into the new Asian session. Bitcoin is likely to continue up. But there is a lot of liquidation points that the market maker can come that come back down to. At what point is he going to initiate that? That's where my concern is. Because what I don't want is this to happen again to you guys. This spike to the downside. At the speed that it happens at. Yeah? That's all I'm concerned about. 50 EMA needs to cross over the 200 to establish momentum to the upside. All right. It's only 43,000, guys. Bitcoin is only at 43,000, nearly $44,000. OK, there's where we are on the 41,000 right here. We haven't really gained much ground. It's only $3,000 move. That's nothing. OK. Bitcoin needs to come out of this zone much higher. And then the retrace that happens will come down and Bitcoin will stabilize in this zone right here where the 50 and the 200 EMA will meet up. And then that would be the bounce continuation because they've got the liquidity there for them to take. That's what we're looking for. We then have the 800 EMA yet again. 
So there's a lot of legwork for Bitcoin to get through before we can be saying, yes, happy days to the upside. Because once the upside is established, ladies and gentlemen, all right, this is what we will be waiting for. Every pool of liquidity that you see right here will be a rise, a retrace, a rise, a retrace, because there's money for them to take, okay? That's what you'll be waiting for. This zone right here, we're in the infant stages of the move to the upside. They can even bring it up further and snap it back down again, stabilize price in this area before they continue again. All I'm doing is helping you guys add caution to the nature of this game. Okay? Remember, I don't care about the direction. I care about momentum. I want to make sure that it confirms it. Moving out of the zone. That's all I'm interested in. I don't care about no other, any concepts other than momentum and patterns that we see by the market maker himself. Okay? This is a nice move up by Bitcoin. Happy days. Prove it to me that it's going to continue, Bitcoin. Move away from the range. Move at speed. Come on. I want to see it happen. There's liquidity right here for you to take. Why are you taking so long? You've moved up aggressively today and then you come straight back down in the New York session. What's the delay, Bitcoin? You've got everyone interested in this area, so let's pump it up. Why are they stalling? Do you see what I'm saying? You know, Tina, can we please elaborate on the stopping volume candle in the first shift? Um, stopping volume candle in the first shift. What do you mean? So no more 37 Bitcoin. Where's those bookmap orders now? Okay, have a look. Here's the bookmap orders. Okay. Okay. So this is where the bookmap order is right now. At 40,000, there's 321 Bitcoin. In and around 40,000, 39,500, there's 150, 248, 292 at 39,000, and 437 at 38,000, okay? We keep on going, keep on going. You can see even down at 30,000, that order down there, 633 Bitcoin is static. It hasn't moved, okay? Now, there's more liquidity to the downside than there is to the upside. Look up here, 46 the most liquidity is at 48,000, well, 50,000, which is 271, okay? And then you've got 53 at 447, but I'm not seeing much liquidity as you can see right there, okay? This is the book map. This is the image of people committing liquidity, all right? Again, I say it all the time. I would be, I'm great. I would love it if all of us could witness Bitcoin to continue higher and higher. But I'm trying my hardest to make sure that you guys aren't caught by surprise. Always have your wits about you. Okay? If you think Bitcoin's going to go up, be accountable. Take responsibility. Make your trades. Okay? Work out how much you're prepared to earn from that. If you're in profit, pay yourself. Happy days. Give yourself the opportunity to be able to play the game continuously. Don't buy once and hope that you're going to make millions of dollars. That's just not the way trading works. My goal as a day trader, I don't care about Bitcoin in the next two, three days. No interest to me. I'm looking for quick, momentous moves. Yeah? Do you think they will still stretch for 36, 39 buys? Is there still liquidity imbalance? In front of you, okay, you're witnessing Bitcoin right now on the book map showing the plays between the limit buys and the limit sells, okay? When we zoom in closer and closer, you can see what's going on here. There's Look at how much this is being absorbed right now. They're absorbing this liquidity, okay? As Bitcoin comes down lower and lower, we are anticipating that these limit buys here are going to appear here so that they can support price, okay? At what point are they going to pull it back from these zones? Are they going to keep these pools of liquidity present here or are they going to move them up? This is why I pay attention to the book map because it gives me an overview of the liquidity that remains static in the order book because if they're not moving it from here, they are anticipating that orders are going to come down to this area. Remember, this is Bitcoin across five platforms. 
Bitstamp, Binance, FTX, Coinbase Pro and Kraken. So this is where the liquidity is at. I'm not seeing anything above here. The only way Bitcoin's going to continue higher is if the market does naturally move higher, which will then cancel all these orders and move them up closer to price. That's the thing about the book map. It's the auction between the interest of the limit buys and the limit sells. Okay. Again, my preference to price action, guys. Okay. I'm looking at liquidity right here. Look, Bitcoin's had a nice little run up. Do you, can you see the presence of three? This is on the five minute time frame. So you got one hit here, two, and then we've got three. Why is it? We always see the blue vector retraces down from that point. We've got the Asian session coming up very soon. They've got the resistance at the 44,000. There is liquidity for them to come back up to in this area right here. Cool. If it's going to confirm, the 50 EMA will hold in this area right here. If you're a trader, you want to exploit price action, you make the decision, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here to help you understand how the business works. Because I can stop streaming, no problem. Happy days. Will you have enough information about the hybrid to continue moving forward? Yes, you will. That's the beauty of this. All I'm saying, guys, is history does repeat itself. We've seen a nice W formation right here. Shift one, shift two. Happy days. We then look at price action to the upside over here. Same story. Are we seeing the same play? See, the thing is, guys, when you see Bitcoin moving like this, we tend to ignore the bigger picture. Yeah? Bitcoin's coming up nicely. Happy days. Mm, I'm not really convinced that this is going to be the move that makes Bitcoin move higher. The three-day chart. Okay? It's a sharp move up. Okay? Does that give you a reason to believe that Bitcoin is rising? Does this look like a chart that is rising just because of this one candle? No, it doesn't, does it? Doesn't give you any belief that it's rising, It does it now? It's, it's, it's just not there. Look, the 200 EMA sat right there with 35k and we got a pool of liquidity right here, ladies and gentlemen. Come tomorrow, if the next session brings Bitcoin down, okay, people will be scratching their heads. Weekly chart. Still not even above the 50 EMA on the weekly chart. And we're talking for 100K. Like, what's going on? 5 and 13 EMA are pointing downwards. This is the weekly chart. Things look a bit different now, don't they? The monthly chart, still trading negatively. One, two, three pushes. How long would this push happen? See, with the perspective, as you break it down and look at higher time frames, you tend to understand what's going on in a bit of a clearer way. Look at the eight hour chart. What do we see? We see rejection towards the 50 EMA. It needs to close above that zone. 10 hour chart. Blue vector, blue vector, big wick right here. 12 hour chart. Trying to close above the 800 EMA. Happy days if it can achieve that. Come back up towards this previous pool of liquidity. And then that is where we will know where the resistance is. You know? Where do you hear 100k? I'm all hearing is bears calling for 10. Who's calling for 10k? Who's calling for 10k? Who said 10k? One guy earlier on today, um, some article was released by some CEO talking about Bitcoin is going to go to 70, close above 75k this year. Okay. Talking about that cool all right but it's talking about it in a year's time okay what would we need to see for bitcoin to go to 75k well first things first we need to get above forty-six thousand before we can think about 70 75k case closed done because forty-six thousand is above the 50 ema on the uh, um, not not above the 50 EMA, but it's in direction of the 50 EMA on the daily time frame. Okay, we can get above the 46k. We can then make our way towards the 50 zone, which would be above the 50 EMA on the daily time frame. Again, 
The nature of trading, ladies and gentlemen, is designed to get you to commit your money in the charts. Because if you're not committing your money, if you're not given a reason to buy, you ain't going to be trading. And neither is the market maker. You remember, he needs liquidity to match up against your liquidity so that he can make money off your trades, off your liquidation points. Here we go. Look at this. So from the 4th of December, everyone's been long. Everyone's been long. Look at the values of longs against shorts. Yeah? Look at how much money is available for the market maker to attack. All right? There is tons of money for the market maker to attack on all these exchanges here. Okay? Look what happened over here. 4th of December. $1.5 billion worth of longs. Okay? It's just... It's just crazy. There's money for them to take. There's a lot of money for them to take. And are they getting ready to do that? Yeah? Pompolina is discussing Bitcoin at 500k by the end of the year. Look, the idea about Bitcoin going higher in, in price, okay? They're basing it on the fact of, you know, it's cryptocurrency. And it's a storehouse. It's a st place for value, store of value, okay? So, remember, fundamentalists always like to talk about what they would like to see in the future. But... 500k 100k we're at 43 right now give me some fundamentals that justify bitcoin's price right now because that's going to help me understand if it's likely to go to 45 47 50 i don't care about 100k bitcoin let's get to 80 and we can have a conversation yeah let's get to a point that is realistic so that we can have that conversation Let's have a look at Ethereum. Ethereum has done very well. Ethereum has come away from the zone. Okay. We showed you this earlier on today. That this was the pattern that she was developing. Getting ready to come away from the range. Happy days. Ethereum has done her business for the week. Confirmed the psychological high. Moved away from it. Retrace. Riding the 5 and the 13 EMA. She's drifting away from the 200 EMA. 5 and 13 EMA are not showing any problems to the downside. Ethereum looks like it's going to continue higher. But we've got all this liquidity right here. They've pumped price up and price hasn't really moved up. All they've done is come back to a previous pool of liquidity right here. Okay. Now the next zone of liquidity is all the way up here. What do we need to see? Well, we need to see Ethereum drop back down. And when it drops back down, it needs to hold again in this range. That's what we're looking for. This range needs to hold. Because if the momentum is present for them to continue higher, you will then see the vector candles appearing and the rise up from the pattern. They will do the rise, the retrace, recover 50% of the vectors and continuation to the upside. Happy days. It's as simple as that, ladies and gentlemen. You know, when we look at the bigger cycle, ladies and gentlemen, someone's spoken about it right now. OK. We look at the cycle. This is what we've got. This is on the one hour time frame in line with the cyclical move from the from here. We've got M formation. Yeah, we've got drop level one. We've got drop level two. What have I been saying to you over the last few streams? Bitcoin seems to have this habit of forming only M formations, drop level one, drop level two, and going into a peak formation straight away. We've not really seen many level three rises, um, level three drops to the downside and then peak formation. Okay. Now for this move to continue to the upside and this W formation down here to lock Bitcoin needs to trade away from it over the next 24 hours. I said last night, 
the next 24 to 48 hours are going to be important because they need to lock the peak formation. They need to establish that they favor to come away from this zone. If they can't come away from this zone, then Bitcoin is just going to drift back down and start basing again in this area to try and come back up again. Yeah? The liquidity to the downside is present. The next point of interest in the chart, ladies and gentlemen, in Bitcoin, okay, is the last point right here where they, in, in this area here, where the most liquidity was triggered to move Bitcoin away from the zone. Look at the result of what they did over here when Bitcoin came away from this zone, okay? Just look at that. That one candle shift all the way up and then they recovered all of the wick. This is a very important zone. All right. It's a massive zone for them to come into this move to the upside as much as it looks really promising. For it to continue higher, it would need to break back up above into this range right here to solidify the move to the upside. People are getting hyped already. I'm 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 just being cautious. You can be king for a day, ladies and gentlemen, but it's about maintaining the crown. It's not about getting in because everyone else is getting in wait for confirmation because if bitcoin's going to go up it's going to continue you will always get another opportunity to get in bitcoin will rise it will retrace and it will continue retrace continue people think that bitcoin can only do this and that's it they've missed out on the opportunity that's not the case look at how many instances you could have got in on bitcoin when it was making a move to the upside over here look at this Look at the rise retraces. Here we go. So we've got a W formation right here. Bitcoin, rise, retrace, confirm. No break of the 50 EMA. Price stays above the 5 and the 13 EMA. Up it goes. Retrace, come again. Off we go. Rise up, retrace, rise up. Bang. You're saying you can't enter on those instances. Even if you were to grab the last 10% of this move right here and you were going to enter in this area here, you would have seen a nice little return there. 58,200 all the way up to nearly 66,600. That's a decent move up. A nice 10 grand move. Happy days. Diamond Fox, what's good, man? What's good? Okay, then. So, let's have a look at some altcoins because I know you guys are feeling the love by the altcoins today, man. Here we go. So FTM, ah, there it is. Nice play by FTM. Nice play by FTM. So FTM today, we did the video earlier on. We're expecting a little bit of a retrace from this and they've decided to come and break the range daily high. They've hit the M5 projection, pivot point, sorry. And now they've pulled it back. The five and the 13 EMA, they haven't been broken down, so this is a promising move. If they can hold above the 13 EMA until the next session, which is the start of the next session will begin at 10 o'clock tonight, okay, where the Sydney session rolls in, but the daily candle will be at 12, all right? So they're coming into the Sydney session. So remember that the daily candle is yet to be printed. So if they can stay positive, which is likely what they're going to do, and they can stay positive above the 13 EMA, we are likely to see a nice drift further. But the retrace, what I don't want to see is FTM sharply retrace back down. So be mindful of that. Keep an eye out on the 5 and the 13 EMA on the one hour time frame. Okay, because if it breaks below the 13 EMA on the one hour time frame and breaks down sharply, the retrace back up will give you the clue as to whether it's going to continue back up or not. Because if they reject that zone, they are likely to come down and test the 50. Okay? So look, brilliant price action by FTM, man. Fantastic. Awesome. RSR. Got a great movement up, man. This is what I want to see for Bitcoin. This. Shift away. This candle right here. I want to see a vector candle to move price away from the range to confirm it. Until we see that price action with Bitcoin, then I'm, I don't want, I'm only favoring lower prices. Yeah. Um. Yeah, meals pays bills. This is true. This is a day trading strategy. You know, holders are going to be different. Swing traders are going to see things differently. Day traders are going to see things differently. 
It's always going to be the case. You know? Um, what else? What are you guys wanting me to look at? Um, check ICP. Let's have a look at Icon. ICP. Okay, then. ICP seems to be rejecting the psychological high. It's done a good job of rejecting that zone. But it's got wide psychological ranges. So it looks like they're building in this area. Let's have a look at where they're building from. Okay, so the liquidity is all the way down here. It's quite spark. It's like, look at that. It's quite spaced out, this liquidity. This is a weird coin. One, two hits to the high right there. We could get another hit up. If it breaks out from this range and shows commitment to break away from the psychological high, then this will likely to reach out towards the $40 zone because the liquidity is there for them to take. But it's all down to what they do because the 50 EMA is pretty flat and the 5 and 13 aren't showing traction. So we want to see expansion of the moving averages. So be careful with this coin, guys. It's basing out. Okay. Um, what else have you got? Let's have a look at Gala. People want me to look at Gala. Actually, let me just look at Solana. Here we go. Solana's done good. Where's my guy, the dying wish? <laughs> There's that Solana move. There it is. Nice confirmation away from the 200 EMA, 50 EMA pointing upwards. This is why I bang on about the 50 and the 200, ladies and gentlemen. The more time that Solana stays in this area here, okay, the more the 50 EMA is going to come up. All right? And the sooner it comes up, when it crosses over the 200, at that point, price action should initially continue higher. So when they slow price down, it's to marry up the moving averages to bring things back into the fray. Because if they don't want to bring price down and retrace to the 50, they will hold price in this range. It's the same story with Bitcoin. Same story with Bitcoin. It's do Everything's doing the same thing. Okay. Man, what's going on with all these comments, man? What's my guy saying? Sir, can you check? Oh, my God. You don't need to call me sir, man. It's all good. Check. Go. Go USD. CRV. Let's have a look at CRV. CRV USDT. You see what's going on? Ah, look at this. That is a nice play. Clean rejection away from the psychological high. Happy days. They favor higher prices. The liquidity is up here, but it's this zone right here that will start to see a little bit of a turn. Okay. So we're waiting. Look at that. 200 and 800 EMA about to cross over. So it will stabilize in this range and we should see an aggressive move out from the zone. Yeah. Let me look at Rose. We saw Rose earlier on. Ah, wow. Look at Rose, man. What a beast. What a beasty move to the upside. Here you go. Here's an example of testing the 5 and the 13 EMA. Okay, look at this. See 5 and 13 EMA? Although price is going below it, it's still containing it. And the, they haven't changed direction. They're not pointing downwards. Okay? This was a bold, sharp move. Okay? But it tested at the daily open. So there was confluences right there. When you see price closing above the 5 and 13 EMA when price and the, and the moving averages are compressed together, okay, that is a sign that momentum is going to take its turn at this point. So you can see, look, 5 and 13 EMA are close right there. This candle stop hunt low shift back out, confirmation through to the upside, okay? What coins, what coins that are strong enough to make a move just like FTM, Carver and others? All right. So the way you can find coins like that, my friend, okay, is to pay attention to coins that are getting ready to do this sort of behavior. So, okay, look, look at it like this. Let's look at this coin right here, Rose. I mean, maybe a news announcement, a news play. Can people shed light to me on what the story is with Rose? Okay, because I don't really look into as many coins utility. I just look at the price action. I mean, how old is this coin? Oh, my days. Look at that. Look at that bad boy. It's quite a decent. It's okay. So it's quite a new coin. Okay. 
See, this is what I'm saying about these moves. One, two, three hits up, drop. So one, two, waiting for another move up, 60 cents before it pulls it back down. It has the habit of doing so. Okay, so it looks like a classic pump and dump kind of coin. But this is how they move higher. They can only move higher if they drop price. Then they can only drop price lower if they move higher. That's the name of the game. Yeah? Have a look at Link. Let's have a look at Link. Um, again, I have to search for it. What's the point, Tino, man? I'm going to lose my mind with this. Chainlink, what's it got? See, Chainlink's been quite choppy lately. I haven't been favouring it at all. Happy New Year, John, man. How you doing, bro? Okay, so Chainlink on the one hour time, on the daily time frame looks very choppy, okay? On the one hour, it looks like it's trading kind of nicely for the range plays, but look, the moving averages are compressing together, so, and they are still within the psychological ranges. So any coins that are stuck within psychological ranges, ladies and gentlemen, be mindful of them, because when they break out, they are going to break away from those ranges. See, as you can see, the psychological high and low right here, they try to break out once, twice, failed at that and but they're still holding in this range so if link can break away from the psychological high this week it's likely to break out towards the 30 dollar mark if it continues with the commitment to move out of this zone and go higher okay um bnb let's have a look at bnb bnb usdt look see this is what i mean man look it's a nice drift up this is nice riding the 5 and the 13 ema beautiful this is what i want bitcoin to do yeah see how they contain price in this area with bnb the 50 ema gets closer and closer and closer to price all right now that they've got price in the direction that they want it moving averages are moving up volatility is stepping in price actions moving up look at the volume as you can see down at the bottom here let me bring it up for you so look at this Volume rising in this area here. Big accumulation in this area, but the candlestick doesn't go anywhere. All right? That's important. Volume rising up here. So they're shifting away from the range. Volume drying up as it's coming down towards this area right here. Bit BNB is now tapping into previous pools of liquidity. This is the hybrid system. But we've got the objective order, sorry, the rejected zone right here at the 800 EMA. So this is where BNB's journey may end if it can't continue beyond this point. What you want to see, guys, is you want to see them retrace before they get towards the 800. Because the retrace will trigger more liquidity to come in to push it back out again. What you don't want is BNB to go towards the 800 and then they retrace aggressively away from the 800 because they seem to have a habit of doing that. Look at that. They were over the 800 and then they dropped it aggressively right there. Yeah? That's what you want to be mindful of. Okay, what else have we got here? Tina, what do you think about the future of Crow? They've invested a lot on Formula 1 and UFC. Will it help for the future? Cash... The way, way, the way um, marketing works, if people are talking about it, they're going to do something about it. Okay? That's the nature of the game. Not to say that because if you spend so much money in marketing, it guarantees that you're going to see an investment in return. But that's their strategy. You know? Ask yourself, what is Crow's utility? I mean, they've got that new DeFi platform. Okay? So the VVS, is it? The VVX coin? Um, you know, that's got a good little platform to it, but you got Coinbase, Crypto.com. It's like until you get listed on the stock market, you know, that's when you're really going to get traction. And Crypto.com isn't on the stock market yet. Coinbase is, you know, so it's all down to whatever it is that they decide to do with that instance, man. That's what it's all about. Um, please do Forex. Oh, man. Well, with Forex today, we had a good move to the downside with dollar yen. Okay, we, we caught the shorts to the downside. And you can see we got a few trades open with dollar yen. We took the stop hunt rise and then we went to the downside on the news play of dollar yen today. They responded negatively to the news because the consumer price index rose. That's bad news for them. And then they dropped price aggressively whilst paying attention to gold moving to the upside. Look at the classic move by gold, confirming the continuation up. Retrace. 
continuation to the upside investors are feeling quite concerned that's why they come to gold you need to also consider the treasury yields as well where's the yield guys um the 10 year yields where are they at i haven't even got my yield chart here ah forget it we'll look at it another time but yeah it's been it's been an interesting day in forex very interesting day um where are we at let's get bitcoin back up here Okay, what else are you guys talking about? Bitcoin making a move. Here we go. Here we go. Bitcoin moving up. We're coming into the final hours of the final session of the New York session, guys. Half an hour left before New York closes. Bitcoin coming up towards that liquidity. It needs to break that zone. Look. It needs to break that zone. Is this going to be the third candle? That's where we're at right now. It needs to come into this liquidity right here. Let's look at the book map. Liquidity is present in the chart. A lot of cancelled orders here. A lot of cancelled orders. That's a cancelled block there, that is. That's a big cancel. 139. Let me just compress it a little bit more to see where we are. So we've got 165, 138 and 122 Bitcoin in this area right here. More as orders have been added at 40k. So let's see what they've got for us here. Could you look into Gene for me? Also, when are we getting another live trading marathon stream? Haha, <laughs> Angel. Let's have a look at Gene for you. Um Gene USDT. Gino Pets, what's that? Wow. Alright, straight away. Um, I'm guessing this is the right coin. Okay. But you can see this is, I mean, only because of the the liquidity on the platform itself, you can see when someone buys this coin, it just does some mad numbers. So I would really be cautious with trading coins like this, man, because it's literally screaming liquidation points. Yeah. I mean, how old is this coin? This coin, oh, it looks, it's pretty decent. It's pretty new. What on earth is that? What's that wick? Where has this gone? What on earth is that? Okay, $200. Well, we know the concept of the wick. We know the wick does like to play its game. Get Gene USD from the FX. Okay, FTX. Gene USD. Gene USD from FTX. Okay, here we go. Okay, then. Cool. That's much cleaner price action. More liquidity. Okay, then. So we've got this previous pool of liquidity right here. $32. Fair and square right there. There's a lot of liquidity for them to come back up to. What is that? Yeah, this is a bit of an obscured price action. Following Bitcoin's behavior. Let me get Bitcoin back up. Here we go. So when you see these sort of moves, guys, okay... We've been waiting for the range daily high to be taken, okay? But now we've got one, two, three hits up, all right? They're adding more zones of liquidity higher, all right? Let's look at exo charts for a second. Let's understand something on exo charts. Exo chart should put things into perspective about the relationship with the liquidation points. Has anyone ever used Kingfisher? That's something that I'm considering. Okay then, so let's have a look at Exo charts right here. Bitcoin USDT. Okay. Thank you, Quantum Crypto. Mad love to you, bro. All right, then. So this is... Um, I'm now looking for the 2,600 tick chart because that's based on the concept of the vector candles. Here we go. All right, so look at this. All right, the way I use exo charts is probably a bit different to the way everyone else uses them. Okay. You see, you've got a lot of longs being built. Look at these longs. Yeah, loads of longs are being built. All right. Shorts are being closed. Longs being built. Okay. 
when are the longs going to get liquidated they've come to the weekly high which sits in and around the range daily high okay we are waiting to see if this move is going to trigger them to move price and start activating the liquidation points for the longs see when you look at the delta itself the delta to me tells me okay that when it's positive it's the market inducing traders to believe that now price is rising but in my eyes it's when the market maker is building his shorts because if it's rising up why on earth is it pulling back down okay same story here shifting out green positive 56 percent 72 percent delta positive price is rising impression is that the power is to favor higher prices it reverses market maker presence one two three hits to the high they reverse it down okay look at those liquidations right there 114 liquidations so some of the longs now are being taken okay so they're now going to aim for the liquidation points for the longs now this is the tick chart 2600 ticks so each candlestick is price changing hands 2600 times okay the vector candles themselves are based on ticks yeah We'll dump once we hit 45,600. <laughs> Kingfish, I've used 10 bottles in one night. <laughs> Sophia. <laughs> so let me see your projections. Bitcoin dump incoming after underside daily retest. Okay. If you want to see a quick look at a shield token on Binance. No, thanks. Can you do a video on how to use ExoChart? Well, kind of doing one right now. Okay, BNB is too correlated with the whole market. It's like Coinbase. Okay, we'll dump once we hit 45.6. Okay, let's take my guy's projection of dumping from 45,600. What reasons do we have to believe that? Okay, 45,600 will take us up into this area right here where all the liquidity is going to be recovered. Okay, well, quite frankly... If Bitcoin can get up to that point, okay, happy days. All right. So if you can profit on Bitcoin making a move all the way up to 45,600, you close at 45,500 so you don't have to worry about the dump. Okay. But again, ladies and gentlemen, look at this. The moves that are happening in the chart, sharp move up, sharp move back down. These look like they are setting up traders to commit liquidity okay i may be wrong bitcoin may explode all the way up to 50k at least you guys are winning uh, but um, my goal is to always get you to be conservative with your approach don't be blind don't go in moon boy status because you're going to leave your profits in the charts and you ain't going to pay yourself because you're fixated on the common theme of bitcoin's pumping the idea is to continuously pay yourself, ladies and gentlemen. If you ain't paying yourself, you ain't going to survive in this game. Yeah, CPI is positive and the US dollar is going down. There you go. <laughs> when I used to stream video games. <laughs> Bitcoin has a resistance at 250k, but I think we got this. <laughs> that is fire listen ladies and gentlemen i want to thank you all for passing through to tonight okay i'm going to be doing a live stream tomorrow night at some, some tomorrow afternoon as well 2 p.m new york session but remember bitcoin is coming away from the 200 ema okay wait until the start of the next daily candle so that when it does open price action is going to get a little bit busy in this area as long as it stays above the 5 and the 13 ema then the momentum is present in the charts if it starts to break down from the 5 and the 13 ema it's likely they're going to try and come down towards the 200 if they move further away and the 50 crosses over the 200 ema the retrace back down to the 50 will be the support move back to the upside i've got to give you all the scenarios the hypothetical scenarios because that's what it is guys it's trading we don't know what the hard right brings is price going to do this rise up is it going to retrace and bounce off the 13 ema continue up 
Or is he going to come back down towards the 200 EMA and bounce up? Or is he going to wait until the 50 comes back up and then bounce away from that point? If you're in profit, pay yourselves. Live to tell another day. Live to see another story. Live to trade another day. Mad love and respect to every single one of you guys. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and I will catch up with you guys tomorrow. Have yourselves a lovely evening. Mad love and respect to all of you. Peace.